Look at me. Now, look at that lamp. Now, you're looking at the lamp. Now, look at me again. Do you see what you did? You blinked when you went from me to the lamp and the lamp back to me. In that process, you, you blinked. That's what the cut is. Walter Murch is a film editor and sound designer who's worked on movies like Apocalypse Now and The Godfather. In this video, we will overview some of his editing advice. One of the first things you as an editor should learn is to be concise. This is because when you first start making videos, it's really hard to let go of your footage since you worked so hard on it during shooting. A good editor is one who's able to forget the production process and cuts out footage for the benefit of the whole picture. In Merch's words, always try to do the most with the least. Produce the greatest effect in the viewer with the least number of things on screen. Show one idea and move on to the next. There are two things that you should show in a scene. Emotion and story. If one scene, shot or frame doesn't develop either emotion or story, you should cut it out. But how do you know that the film is showing emotion or story? Well, for that, we'll look at Merch's Blink Theory. A cut in a film is a way of concluding one idea or emotion and starting another. According to Merch, cuts are like blinks, because blinks are also a way of concluding a thought and starting another. If you have a thought in your head and now you are going to switch to another thought, involuntarily there is a blink. We do not blink at random. Psychological studies have proven Merch's theory right. An experiment conducted in Pittsburgh University in 2008 suggested that blinks occur before and after we think. They occur before we think, in order to take a breather and prepare to receive information, and they occur after receiving information, to take it in and process it. In another study by Dr. John Stern, pilots were found to blink less frequently when flying over enemy territory than when flying over friendly territory, because information acquisition is more important in enemy territory. During editing, if you let a shot go on and nothing changes scene, story, or emotion, the territory is friendly. You should cut. But if emotion or story change, it's as if the enemy might show up at any moment. Looking at the screen is still important, so you should not cut. Look at this shot. Now look at it again. See how the emotion changes in the actor? how he changes his mind, that's what you should look for. You can also use blinking theory to your advantage when editing actors. You can follow their thought process by observing when they blink. I try to hit the stop button just ahead of where they blink, so the frame before they blink. Then you can choose to cut before or after the blink. Never, never, never use the blink as the frame on which to cut. You have to do it yourself. You, you have to come to that decision. And actually making a cut while somebody is blinking is a terrible thing. In conclusion, during editing, you want to let go of your footage and do the most with the least, prioritize emotion in story, cut to change an idea, not cut when emotion or story are changing, and observe when actors blink. You have to feel the moment where you're going to cut and at the appropriate moment, I would feel there. <laughs>